We are talking today with Jim Loomis, president of the Loomis Company. Jim, thanks for taking time today. Thank you for allowing me to uh, express my opinions to you. <laughs> well, one of the things that I'm curious about, your company, among other things, does uh, health care benefits for employers, yes? That's correct. What, uh, first of all, what are you hearing from the employers that you work with? Um, are they still kind of stressed about Obamacare, or are they worried about the changes? What are you hearing? Well, I think most of the smaller employers are trying to figure out uh, how not to harm their employees. And the Health Care uh, Act is forcing a lot of the companies to think about doing part-time employees. If you stay under a certain amount of time, you avoid some of the pitfalls of the of the Obamacare. So there are, there are employers that you're working with that are considering taking full-time positions down to part-time so that they don't have to provide benefits to the part-time people. That's correct, yes. And um, what else are you hearing? It, um, are you seeing any, any are any employers saying this, this is going to be good for us? No, uh, I haven't heard one employer from, and, and our typical base of client goes from 50 to 100 life employer to 10,000 plus lives. I don't hear positive from any, uh, any size employer. Um, what I see a lot more that's happening in the smaller from the 50 to 250, I see a lot of those employers more or less getting involved in self-funded, and that's what we do. We are a self-funded claims payer, TPA, which is allowing them to avoid a lot of the acts that, that are going to be forced on the fully insured people. Now, how does that work? If, if you're a company and you want to pursue self-funding, what's the gain there? Well, the gain is... The gain is we provide um, uh, stop-loss uh, insurance to protect the employer. And it basically ends up being the same as a fully insured product, but if you manage your claims properly, you have a chance to save money and not pay the fully insured equivalent premium. Are you hearing employers talk about dropping their, their health care benefits and letting, letting their people get insurance on the exchanges? Some of, of that, I, I, I don't hear as much of that anymore as we did. Uh, we are a, a provider for a couple of the health exchanges, and um, uh, we are providing coverage and managing their claims. What, what I see going on in the health exchanges is the, more of the individuals seeking out coverage. People who don't have insurance through their employer right now. Be correct. And, but it's more of an individual base than you see a group of people. I don't, I, I don't see that. I, I still see, especially in Berks County, the people seem, the employers seem to want to take care of their employees the way they used to. But I see going self-funded, it allows, uh, you don't pay all the taxes, you don't pay all the per employee charges that when you go self-funded. So I see our self-funded businesses starting to increase. And you mentioned you're, you're working with uh, some of the exchanges. That's because you have operations in other states where the exchanges are already set up. That is true. Yeah, we're working in the Colorado and California. And how are the exchanges working? Well, they're not up yet. Uh, they uh, they start uh, they start enrolling October first, effective for one one twenty fourteen. So, what kinds of activity are you seeing now in anticipation of that? Well, we are very busy setting up and doing all the back room so when they go live, uh, they, as I said, they have to go live by, they have to be able to, to start enrolling 10-1. Uh, so we're very busy and they're, they're very organized in implementing the, uh, their enrollment systems. So it's, it's the enrollment that's happening now in, in, in those states? In October it starts, yes. But are busy. We're busy just setting up the systems, so like the, the back, the back office. Correct. Correct. Moving away from healthcare, what what other uh, what are the other big parts of your business? What other kinds of insurance do you do here? Well, uh, half our business is uh, uh, large property and casualty accounts. We do a lot of uh, Florida coastal business. We do uh, some very large hotel accounts. 
Um, and we do also a lot of just Main Street business, do a lot of uh, uh, Mall and Paul grocery stores, uh, if they're around anymore, convenience stores and uh, things like that. We insure uh, accounts like the Reading Hospital ones, from small to medium to very large. So what's happening in Florida? We're, we're getting into hurricane season here pretty soon. Florida, um, we deal a lot in the, in, in, in the London market. And, and I get a good reading from uh, Lloyd's. Uh, Florida, people are pretty comfortable in Florida because the last, what, four or five years, we haven't had anything in, in Florida. And, uh, what was a surprise last year is what happened up here in the Northeast with Sandy. And that, <clears throat> excuse me, that has caused a significant uh, problem within the, within the reinsurance structure in, in the Northeast area. Talk about that. What, what do you mean by reinsurance? Well, um, as, as you may or may not know, like the City Transit Authority in New Jersey, New York, was way, way underinsured. So they're out now doing a bond issue for several, several hundred million dollars. Uh, the claims that, uh, that, that they experienced were up, in, up into the billions. No one, no one ever anticipated that uh, New York would be flooded and you know, Wall Street would be under several feet of water and into the transit systems. Is this going to be the new normal, for, given uh, what's happening with the climate? I, I, or, or I mean, was that's, that, a, was that an, aber was an aberration? I don't know. If you could answer that question, I think you'd be a billionaire. <laughs> but, uh, I really don't know that answer. What about premiums? Uh, has, did Sandy mean uh, that the Northeast particularly is paying higher premiums? Uh, in some of the counts, yes. Uh, it's, it's always been d difficult finding homeowners and c that type of coverage along the Jersey Shore and New York and so forth. Uh, Meaning there weren't a lot of insurance companies providing coverage. Correct, correct. And, and then you have the federal flood uh, program there, which has always been broke, and that had to be refunded again to help the uh, New Jersey homeowners and Long Island and so forth. Uh, so what else? What else? One more area that, uh, that Loomis is involved in. I'll tell you before you answer that, one of the things I was surprised by was how big the company is. And, and so uh, it's interesting to hear you talk about um, the different states that you're bus you have business in. Um, so what what else are you, what else is is driving your business operations now? Any any particular business problem that you're having to manage? No, uh, it's uh, uh, my own business problems would be uh, at at uh, sometime in the near future I have to retire, and uh, my son just came into the business, so as, as I think every business owner, we face issues of how to keep the business growing and, you know, what do you do there? And we're working on some rather unique products and ideas. Um, one of the things we're talking about is uh, hiring a, actually a chief marketing officer to help us uh, work through some of the issues that every business has to gain new clients. But, uh, I mean, we do business in every state. Uh, we do a lot of business out on the West Coast. Las Vegas, we do a lot of business. We insure the city of Las Vegas and the county. Um, but this... You're busy. Very busy, yes. We'll let that be the last word.